mix it in a breeze. I usually mix it for 40 or 45 below because uh, if it happens to lose a little bit in the freeze and somebody adds some street water, it's still uh, get a cord in there and still have reasonable freeze protection. Just mix antifreeze with the spilled water or you can buy the 50-50 mix and add, add antifreeze to bring it up. The 50-50 antifreeze has got filtered water and antifreeze mixed in it. You don't really want to use uh, tap water or surface water. Uh, way past minus 45, like 50 below. Thin it down a little more with some distilled water. 45 below. 47. 45, somewhere in there. Good enough. I'm going to use a deal called an airlift. The antifreeze in. It's a lot less mess. Pulls a vacuum on the system. Then you hook another line back to the antifreeze container and open the valve and the suction on the system displaces any air in it with antifreeze. Put the shop air up to it. Have to plug off any holes to the system. That sucks all the hoses flat as a pancake, most of them anyway. Removes all the air and then it'll suck the antifreeze in and fill in all the suction places, leaves no air. Got no mess of antifreeze pouring it in and stuff. Hook the antifreeze up to it, open that valve and let her go. So suction getting displaced with antifreeze as it rises back to zero negative pressure. No mess installation. And should be relatively air free. Give it a little testing out. See what happens.